Hi guys, we need migrants. This was a statement from a self-professed Brexiteer. So somebody called Lee May appeared on pro-Brexit GB News to issue what sounds like a regret. She said she voted for Brexit in order to lower migration. According to her Twitter account, she has connections to both Pakistan and Barbados. Which begs the question, why would somebody who is perhaps from a recent migrant background vote to keep others out? Anyway, it seems Lynn wants the opposite of Brexit now, saying that Britain needs them in, for example, for the NHS to work. Have a listen. May I say, it is time for us as Brexiteers, because I know many of you are, some on the panel are as well, for us to admit we need migrants. Now, I voted for Brexit for the simple fact that I agreed we needed to lower migration, especially when the Conservative mandate in 2019 stated that that's what they would do, but they have not. Now, I was hoping the government post-Brexit would have initiatives that would inspire people who are probably not working, young people, to really really retain our labour force and get them into jobs where we have shortages. Unfortunately, that has not occurred. One in six individuals who work for the NHS are non-British nationals. Now, what would we do without migrants? So I have to admit, we need migrants. Now, it's not something I think we should have to rely on for the simple fact, not only because we should utilise our own talent here, but also because it leads to brain drain in other countries. They need their workers. So no one is at a win at this situation. But here we are, we need migrants. Well said. Um, and it's interesting that it's coming from a Brexit here. Now, she didn't really go into much detail about why she voted for Brexit. She said in order to bring down immigration. I don't know why she thought that was a good idea. People at the time said, if we, you know, if we stop European migrants coming to Britain, it's going to be a problem. While Brexit here said, no, it won't. We'll just train up our own people. But this whole thing about training up our own people, that requires money. And the Tories don't like spending money on people. They like spending money on, uh, on their donors. They like to spend money on corruption, but they don't like to spend money on the people of Britain. They don't, they're not interested in training people up to do jobs. So you have on the upper end of the skills scale, um, high paying jobs that require a high level of skill and that requires investment from the very beginning. So investment in schools, the Tories don't want to invest in schools. Investment in higher education, the Tories don't want to do that either. And investment in research and development, but the Tories don't want to do that either. So how are you going to attract the high skilled workers? When it comes to the so-called low skilled workers, um, the Tories are not interested in, in, in attracting those either. So. What was the point of voting for Brexit if it was to keep, is to reduce immigration? What was the benefit of reducing immigration? Now, as, as people said, well, we'll just get our own people to do it. But British people don't want to do these jobs. And many British people can't do these jobs. This has become painfully obvious. We can see it now. There have been a number of cases where farmers have reached out to people, reached out to agencies, trying to find staff in the local area, and they can't get them because of the nature of the work or because of the pay. Now, many Brexiteers will say, well, just get the farmers to pay higher wages. But then if they do that, and I'm not against higher wages, but I'm saying, and I've said this before, if you do pay higher wages, the farmers will become less competitive when it comes to selling their goods to the supermarkets. Because if the supermarkets who operate on very narrow margins, in many cases, in many pro on money products, what they'll do is they'll just import them cheaper from abroad, which they had been doing on a number of occasions. But it came to Turkey's, for example, when British farmers couldn't access the workers they needed uh, to process turkeys for Christmas a couple of years ago, the supermarkets just imported turkeys from Germany and Poland. So if they can't get the workers or if it becomes too expensive, then what they're going to do is rely, uh, the, 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 the customer, the supermarket will rely on somebody else. But on the upper end of the so-called skills market, you need to invest. You need to spend money. You need to raise taxes. You need to borrow money to fund all of this. But the Tories don't want to do that. And Brexiteers don't seem to want to do it either. 
So is this Brexit regret? I don't know. She hasn't come out and said Brexit was a mistake. She just said this part of Brexit was a mistake. Is she still a Brexiteer? We'll have to wait and see. Maybe she'll be invited back on to explain her to explain herself. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.